Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and I've had another little play with the camera today. So we're on different settings again. See how we get on today. So fingers crossed we won't have big gaps over the side of the screen today. I didn't realize that till the video was up and on. So there was nothing I could do. So I think, so we're gonna crack on with the video today. It's delivery day, so we should have the deliveries coming in a minute. We have to be doing unboxing of all that stuff. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me and we shall crack on with the day. And we've only had another tribe member, another legend has joined the army of legends. Oh, ha, ha. proper job, proper job. So good old Daniel is now number four, number four in the tribe. Car, we're definitely racking everybody up now. We're doing really, really well. So we've got the beast, the beast, the first, the legend of everything. We've got Kiwi, then we've got Nikki number two. Nikki number two, Jeremy number three, and we've got Daniel number four. Four, oh, you legends, you legends of Snake Island Exotics. So there we go, loads of support, and your video, your name will be added to the list at the end. So let's crack on, and well, let's see if we can wait for the delivery, and then we can crack on and open it all up. Well, that didn't take long. Delivery! So I have opened the live food, because I had a customer come and she wanted some live food. So I've opened the live food, Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> so now we've got all these boxes to open. So fingers crossed they'll all be in there and doing good. So we can open all that up. We've got some new glass come from one of the tanks that came with damaged glass. So fingers crossed we should be raring to go today. But there is a mystery smell. Smells like somebody's passed away. Or hasn't ate their food or regurgitated or something like that. So we're gonna have to go around and check everybody as well find where this mystery smell is coming from because it's winding me up and I can't figure out where it's coming from. So if somebody's passed away or somebody's regurgitated their food or something like that because it onks. <laughs> Let's do our first unboxing with a new camera. Let's see if I'm any good at doing it with a new camera. So we've got a little box here. Let's see if we can get into it with the new camera. No, the camera can't get into it. No, the camera doesn't work. We'll have to use the knife. <laughs> Come on. Well, it's not a knife, it's a pair of scissors. I know. <laughs> so we've got some fruit flies. We've got some bean weevils in their little nuts. We've got some fruit fly cultures all ready to go. Ah, it's upside down, that's no good. Quick, turn it the right way up. Let's get it. There we go. So let's see if they're the wrong way up or the muck goes on there. It's no good, so we've got to have it sloped back down. There you go, that's a bit better. Okay, so that's the first box. I'll put this away and we'll crack on. Baha, next box. Next box, so. Come on, we can do it. I've lost the other set of scissors. I don't know what I did with them. I've lost them. Can't find them anywhere. Oh no, they're there. How did I not know they were there? I've been searching for new scissors because I couldn't find them. <laughs> God's sake. Oh. I need to go to bed earlier, I think. I think that's the only answer. Go to bed earlier. Come on. You've got one job is to cut stuff and you can't do it. Okay, finally in. Oh, we've got ceramic bulb holders with brackets, with brackets. Oh, we've got some tortoise balls. Oh, we've got some bigger ones. Oh, that's nice. That's snazzy. We like some snazzy bulb. We've got more bulb holders and brackets. What's we got here? Ooh, 100 watts bulbous. Oh, 100 watts bulbous. There we go. That's that box. Done. I believe these are bags of substrate. Oh, I didn't stab it. I did. I stabbed it. No. We need some tape. We need some tape stacked. We need some tape stacked. 
I've wounded him. I've wounded him. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna have to fix him. We're gonna have to fix him. Come on, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. I didn't mean to do it. You're okay. Bring him back. Bring him back. Get some tape and I'll fix him. I didn't cut this one though. No. I didn't cut this one though. No. We're okay. We're okay. Oh. Gotta fix that bad boy though. Oh, check that one out there. Oh, there's something in here. What's we got in here? I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. Why oh, is this full of bubbles? Full of bubbles. Yeah, you can buy fresh bubbles just from here. It's the only place you can buy fresh bubbles. Oh, we've got more substrate. Get out of it. Ah, more. Okay. And even more, even more. And then where's my skizzers? What we got in here? Ooh. More substrate, dragon, more bubbles. Oh, we lose bubbles. Yeah, we've got more Leo life. Then, we've got, that's the tank. Oh, we've got this to open as well. It's probably a lighto. Lightus Maximus, lovely jobbers. Anybody else? Anybody else? All this, all that for that. <laughs> Could they find a bigger box? It's time to patch his wound. Okay, come on, buddy. You can live through this. You can live through this. I believe in you, mate. I believe in you. Okay, that's, that's gonna do it, I think. Happy days, didn't spill any substrate either. So I put all this stuff away. We gotta build that bad boy. Um, yeah, and then we'll crack on with some more jobbers. Okay, everybody, so we've got some live bloodworm. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. So let's see, we get a couple of the packets out. Um, we've gotta keep one for a customer, but we're gonna use two of the packets and see if we can uh, feed some of the axolotls, some new, Blood worm, freshly, well, it's a live blood worm, so you can't get much fresher than that. Um, some nice fresh blood, blood worms, they've never had live blood worm before, it's all been frozen. So we're gonna do our, uh, our display ones first, and then we should do okay. A little bit different today. Because they're so big, we're not gonna use the pipette. We're gonna tweezer them in and down. So that's gonna be the plan. But everybody seems to be doing okay, which is nice. So let's crack on, and I've gotta open these. Okay, this is probably not a good idea to open it with no hands, but. Oh, it popped. I wasn't expecting it to pop. Okay, can we get it? Let's see if we can pour them out like that. It might not work, it might not work. Oh, no, this has not gone to plan at all. Not at all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to do something different. I forgot, we can we can stand you up. That's the whole point of having this, is to stand, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hands free, we're so snazzy. Okay, let's cut this top off properly. Do, do, do. Oh, we cut, we cut one of the blood worms. Uh, we can put some more fluid back in the bag. Come on. I've made a real mess of this I have today. Proper mess. Okay. Take two. 
Oh, Bosh. Better than last time, only got a bit left. So, while I've been setting this up, I think I found out where the smell's coming from. I've been smelling it a lot around here and I've done some thinking and exploring and I think I found out where it is. So I'm gonna go up now and see if we can get it. Camera had its first paddy as well. Had a little bit of a paddy. I just sit up over here and I was doing this, opening this and putting them in there. And the phone had a proper, proper paddy. It wouldn't turn off, wouldn't stop filming. But I've been following the source of the smell. And if we remember right, Self and Dragon was messing around with her food last time, weren't she? She was dragging it around the tank and stuff. But so what she's done, looks like she's dropped it and left it. Oh, and it's gonna stink. I knew something, I can tell when there's something not right, you get that sweet smell of death. Uh, I knew there was something. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Hello, mate. No, you can't have it, you can't have it. It's, it's funky, you can't eat that. You have to give her a locust because she's gonna try and eat that when I pick it up. Oh. Whoa, calm down. Oh, she's off, she's off. Yeah, that's what's been going funky. That's what stinks. Oh, we'll dispose of this and then uh, we'll crack on. Hoo wee Okay, now we can actually do what we're meant to be doing. Feeding our axolotls. Back to the plan. Back to the plan. Oakley, Oakley. So we've got our wiggly wiggly wormies. Wiggly wiggly wormies. We have our axolotls. So, the little dude has been sitting up in the bushes. I don't know if he's got a little bit of a float problem. He has been moving around, but we're gonna offer him some worms. What do you think, buddy? Whoop! Hungry? What do you think? Oh, he's got it, he's got it. We'll let go. There you go, you swim around with that one, buddy. Oh, he's got one, he's got one, he's going mental. There we go. We can grab a couple more for you. Oh, there we go. Wah. There we go, my friends. Proper little munch for you there, geese. Oh, he's a proper little dude. Hopefully they ain't got no float problems, but we're keeping an eye. They've been, I've been keeping an eye on them. They just swim up and down because they're quite able to do it now. So they just change their their height in the water when they want to. Come on, buddy, you hungry? No, he's going down the bottom. There you go, then, my friend. We'll drop it down to you. Oh, he swam away. Swam away. He'll have some in a bit, he'll have some in a bit. Let's do the, uh, the lutistic ones. Do, 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 do. Hello, my darling. Drop you some wormies. Oh, yes. <laughs> what about you? Do you want some? What do you think? Hungry? Oh, it scared him. It scared him. They're having a proper munch of rest of them now. Oh, look at them go. So we leave them to it, and I'll go around and I'll go feed the rest of them over there, or the other ones as well. But yeah, I think some of them have got a little bit of a buoyancy problem. So we might have to, um, I don't know, it seems okay now. Sometimes he seems floaty, sometimes he seems okay. But we may have to um, do a little bit of treatment on them for float. Normally, we would put them in another little tub, put them in a, uh, in a cool area like a fridge or something like that, 
And what that does, if they've got a little bit of air inside of them, air expands and contracts with temperature. So if you've got, um, put them in a cold free fridge or something like that, the air inside of them will decrease in size, just a slight bit, and it can help them pass it. And it can also help them digest their food. Being in a slightly warm tank can slow down their digestion and make them float and make them a little bit constipated. So that is why some of them float and stuff like that, and that's how some ways of treating it. Because sometimes using the chemicals can knock them about a little bit. So if you ever want to do a swim bladder treatment or anything like that, um, I would contact the supplier. If it doesn't say on the back, I would contact the suppliers and check that it's okay for axolotls. Because aloe vera and stuff like that, if it's got that in there, can knock them about quite a bit. So I thought we'd get some close-ups with the other cam while we're here. Oh, look at his blue eyes. You having a nice munchie, my friend? Oh, yes. So he's lutistic, but he's got lovely little speckles all over him. Lovely little speckles. This one's more pure white. Still got little markings on him now. Oh, he's hunting. He's hunting. Is he going to get a worm? I think he's hunting him. Oh, he got one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we're jumping with celebration. Celebration jumps. Yes, we got him. Everybody's having a munch. You're just having a float, aren't you, buddy? See, it doesn't look, there is a little bit of float, but not crazy. So he'd ping straight up to the top if he was having a proper problem. He's still right up there. Ain't you, bud? I think you may have a little bit of a swim bladder problem or constipated. I think it's more likely to be constipated. What about you? Where am you? Oh, there he is. See, kind of floaty, but not very much. I just think they need a good poo. Yep, I think they need a good poo. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to go and do the rest of the other axolotls, but I've got another 60 in the back to do. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to go buy some more water. So I've only got a little bit of water left. That's all we got. Not enough to do everybody's tank, especially now they're in the big trays. So I'm gonna try, I'll do, I'll show you a couple of them, because we're gonna feed some of them with the live food. So I'll show you some of that. And then the rest of it, I'll do off camera, and then we'll crack on with something else for the rest of the day. Uh, I believe we've got a little animal unboxing tomorrow coming, so that's something for you to look out for. But hey, I'm back, I'm back, and we've got water, plenty of water, three big bottles. Lovely jobos. So let's crack on, let's get the, the big axolotls down first, and we'll do them first, because that's the one we'll feed with the bigger bloodworm. So it's back to the old camera, we're doing some close-ups. So I've got all these all ready to have their bloodworm. So, let's see if we can grab some. Got it, buddy? He's trying. I'm gonna grab one. A little bit floaty, a little bit floaty. We'll grab one in a sec. Where are you? There you right down here. There he is. Come here, buddy. Here you go, you can have them. They wanna sink. Come on, you're making me look bad, wormies. I'll drink a couple more in for him. Come on, sink. Let's go to the next one. Oh, 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 there he is. Do, 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 do. Drop some bloodworm down. Lovely, lovely. Number two. Oh, you're a little bit small, you are. We think we'll give you the normal stuff. You're nice and big. Oh, he's kicking off. He's kicking off. He's not happy. He's kicking off. And um, we got our nice big lutistics. Oh, come on, there we go. Oh, no, we scared him. We scared him. Some of them just grab the food. Some of them get a little bit scared. Last one. Grab a little bit more food. You gonna have some bud? Let's 
Stop moving the glare. I know, we scared him. So I'll just get a little bit more. There we go. And that's them having a little feed. Okay, so here we got some of our axolotls. Doing really well. Nice big chunky axolotls. So we'll give them a feed and see how they get on. We've got to do water changes and stuff first though. Okay, so I finished off the first lot of axolotls. I've just put them back. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, lovely jubbly. Oh, happy, happy, happy. So, <coughs> excuse me. Got a tickly cough. Oh, so they're all right and sorted. I've got another lot to do, but I've got a tank to build as well. So we've got a tank down here. I've got to build this for a customer and set it all up for a tortoise enclosure. So that's a little bit of a, something I can do today. And then we'll, uh, I'll quickly chuck that together and then we can carry on doing some more stuff, cool stuff with the animals. Hey, so the tank is built and already gone. Ho, 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 ho. That's what we call perfect timing. Built it and it's out the door. We are running a little bit late though. It is, it is. Oh, we've got nine minutes. Nine minutes till Alex gets to go to bed. Oh, nine minutes. What can we do for nine minutes? Let's see what animals we can see or about. Oh, we've got to check on some. Check on our new arrivals. Um, oh, we've got that gecko that we put that substrate in that we're going to test that I didn't think it was very good. And I think I've fully thought that it's no good now. Fully decided that it's not very good and I'm going to show you why right now. So down here we had our little gecko and we didn't have any substrate for him apart from the new one that I bought the other day uh, from the new supplier. Um, wasn't too keen on it, but it's all we had at the time. I've got Lego Life in now, so this will all be coming out. But if we have a little look, he's made everything absolutely, it's all powder. It's loads and loads of powder, look. I don't like it being so dusty. I really don't. It's gone so powdery. It's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And I am not... Look, it's all over here. It's all up the walls. I really do not like it. I mean, if I go like this with it, I mean, look at the state of my hand. It's so dusty. So dusty. So I really do not like it. Um, so we'll be never using this again. But if we have a look over here, if I just adjust the camera, just a smidge, just a smidge. Oh, hello, my friend. Hello. How are you? What do you think of the sand? It's not the best, is it? It's not the best at all. Would you prefer some Leo life? We can give you some Leo life instead. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, Leo life tomorrow. That'll be the plan. Leo life tomorrow. So this little gecko down here, this is the one that we put in instead because our other one was eating the sand because she was a little bit naughty. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You look like, you look like you're my statue. Looks like he's doing really well. Really happy with him. Looks like he's just about to go into the sh his shed because his head's looking a little bit white. I believe he's doing really well. Ain't you, sir? Oh, you're looking very good, very good. He's got plenty of bugs about, they're all over there at the back. But what a little dude. So they're doing really well. We're gonna be, they're all up for sale now, which is nice. So hopefully we can start getting more forever homes. And the one that was struggling with the sand, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use instead. So as you saw, the one gecko was eating sand, so we had to take her straight out of there and put her back on a tissue. Uh, but when we do put her on display, we can be doing this. We don't want a big adult gecko on tissue because it just doesn't look right. It's not the best, not the best life for her. Uh, but what we can do uh, is a sand mat. So sand mat is really, really good. All the sand is glued to this mat. So. It's all glued on so she physically can't eat it but it's still like being in the wild on nice rough substrate it helps them so you know a lot of geckos get trouble with it the shed sticking on their hands with this it breaks it a little bit more if they if it ever gets stuck on for too long so you've got more chance of it breaking here and coming off 
but normally they would pull it off in one go like a glove but if it's getting stuck this is easier for them to get it off if they're getting stuck shed and problems with stuck shed same as I always have some cork bark in there so they got somewhere nice and rough to rub their faces on and start the shedding process if they've got nowhere to rub on they uh they struggle shedding because they've got nowhere to get it started because they they can't really scratch or get it started like that so they need something to rub against so they can start the shedding started and then they can start licking it and pulling it off and eating it we have our lovely geckos in here I believe he's going to be in the log because geckos love the logs. Yes, we were right. He's always going to be in the logo. Hello, my friend. He's in the logo. You doing okay? You come say hello. Hello. What's it like living in the log? Is it cool? Very, very cool. Looks cool, mate. It does look very cool. Oh, he's coming right out. Oh, hello. He loves the camera. He loves. Yes, the camera loves you too. Yes, it's tasty, isn't it? Oh, licky, licky camera. Licky, licky camera. Your nose looks massive. Your nose looks massive. Yeah, you, you didn't have to come for a close-up. You didn't have to come for a close-up. You know, we can, we can come closer to you. Oh, I think they're all going into shed by the looks of them. He's got a very, very white back of his neck. So I believe he's going to start shedding soon. Let's have a look at the one next door. Underneath. Underneath. Oh, oh, oh. Now where are you? I can't see anything. You down here? Oh, there she is. Hello, my darling. Hello, there's a little spider. It looks like you're doing okay, eh? You doing okay? Lickies? Oh, we got some lickies. Now she is a little bit overweight. You can see her tail is huge absolutely huge and then after her tail is huge and it's full up they then start putting food to their fat in their back armpits and then after that's full it then goes to the back of their hands but you can't escape where do you think you're going there's no escaping no 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 escapes no 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 that's the first time she's chosen to come onto my hand. She's been very, very timid and doesn't want to do anything with her. As soon as we're in the tank, she's usually bombing off to the other side. This is the first time she's done anything to let us hold her, but I think she's just planning to escape, really. That's all she wants. And you can't escape, darling. No escapes. No, 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 no. We'll put your hide back down. You can't escape. No, no escapes. She's like, quick, nobody's looking. I'm going to go for it. I want to go for it. I'm gonna go, when he's not looking, I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna go straight through his legs, I'm gonna go straight for the tortoise tank, and I'm gonna hide in there. What do you think you're doing, darling? You can't escape. No. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. No, no escapes. No escapes. Oh, there we go, see. Back to being skitty. But we shut the door before she tries to escape again. Okay then, everybody. I think that's all the time I've got for today. I think we've done a little bit better with the camera today. Let me know what you think. Is it better quality than yesterday? Is it filled the full picture? Because we know we had a bit of blacks on either side on yesterday's video, um, but it's too late for me to fix it. So fingers crossed, it's a lot better today. And we've had a bit more practice with it. A bit more smoother maybe. Let me know what you think. Uh, so please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. And um, we've also got to say thank you very much to our tribe members you beast you beast you beats we've had some, we had a new one absolutely new what's so we've got four now we got <clears throat> kiwi we've got nikki we've got jeremy oh no no christopher chris so i'm gonna have to check with the last one daniel i'm so sorry my friend i'm so sorry my friend do you a legend how did i forget a legend how did i do that how did I do that? I'm so sorry, my friend. It will never happen again, I promise. I will never forget your name again, Dan. I promise I won't forget again. So there we go. There's our four legends that help support us and keep everything going. Um, really does mean a lot to me. We've had a, I'm now six months with nobody joining. So having four people join on my birthday week 
really, really meant a lot to me. So if you want to watch a video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.